Yo, what it do? I'm here once again, tapping in with my brethren. Now, <clears throat> the first thing I want to say to you as a disclaimer, this is only the views and opinions of me, the content creator. With that being said, you take what you want from this. You take what you can from this. And if you can't take nothing from it, then, you know, get rid of it, what you cannot take. But that being stated, sorry about that, having a little, little issues with this, this car. That being said, you know, we're in the neighborhood in front of the house. You know, in front of the house, the, the truck is back there. You can see it. That being stated, you take what you want from this video. Now, I, was, I also would like to say, never sell yourself short. Don't ever, ever sell yourself short. If you feel that you are selling yourself short in anything, you should get out of it. So don't, turn, don't ever sell yourself short. Now, Let's get on with the video. What I want to talk about is if truck driving is right for you. Should you get into truck driving? And or yeah, should you get into truck driving or if truck driving is right for you? And I think that as I always said, whatever, what I, what I think is, if you have a desire to do anything, right? And it's something that you truly wanted to do, right? <laughs> you know, it, it could be if you wanted to shovel a dog feces because, hey, it made you feel good to keep your environment clean if that's what you wanted to do and you are now indeed shoveling dog feces and you are getting paid to shovel said dog feces then i consider you a success <clears throat> because you are doing what you truly desire to do and anyone that is doing what they're truly desiring to do is a success. It goes from that to being a doctor, to a lawyer, a construction worker, um, to being a truck driver, which is what this video is about. If that's what you truly desire to do and you're doing it, you are a success. But if you are doing shoveling dog feces, and you know you really don't want to do it you know this is not what you want to do and you hate it every what day you wake up you dread having to get up early in the morning and get dressed and get ready to go shovel this dog feces but you know you got to pay bills and you got mouths to feed or whatever and you're doing that you are not successful because you're not doing what you want to do you're doing what you have to do and so if you get into trucking maybe for whatever reason you get into it for let's say you you were trying to find something else but you couldn't find something else and you were in a situation where your, your money is tight but the way, you know what I'm saying, like you discovered trucking and you said, hey, I discovered trucking, like my money is tight. I, I, I'm, my, I'm not affording 
you know let's say you're not at 40 you're not able to afford to stay where you you're staying you're facing homelessness but let's say you see a trucker and you see and you say that looks like they're able to sleep in there and you say to yourself okay <clears throat> yeah i can go put in an application at mcdonald's or you know if push comes to shove you know you know uh any type of fast food restaurant or you know um a warehouse job but you know that if you work there you are well aware of the fact that you're still going to be struggling because you're you're aware you know that hey Okay, I can go work at McDonald's making minimum wage, but my situation is not going to change as far as my living conditions. I mean, I can't afford. I'm looking at the the the, the rents in all the areas that where I live, and even if I go work at McDonald's making minimum wage, I can't afford to still find a place to stay. So you 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 say, okay, I see this truck. And it's obvious that these people are making money and it looks like they have a place to stay, which is in the truck. Wouldn't it make, wouldn't it behoove me and make sense to, okay, my situation is not good. I can stay in this truck and I can make money and still have a place to stay. Basically, I have a place to stay rent free and I'm making money. So you might say <clears throat> I'm getting into trucking because of that. But getting still is not what you want to do. Or you may be in another situation where it's the similar situation, but you have a family. <clears throat> You're not a single guy. The first situation you may have been a single guy, but now you have a family and you're like, man, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm in the, I'm, you're heavily looking in the job market. You're looking for something that's conducive to your situation. You're looking, you're looking, you're looking. You're not coming. You're coming. You're constantly coming up short. You hear, you hear about, hey, you know, you hear from somebody, whether it's on a YouTube video or whether it's from an actual individual. Hey, all you got to do is get your your CDL, go to truck driving school. They got a whole bunch of programs out there that'll pay for your school and all you got to do is get that cdl and you're pretty much guaranteed a job right you're guaranteed a job pretty much i don't think that you you know from from my experience it doesn't matter how like bad the market may be in trucking it seems that if you got that cdl you can get a job it may not be the best you know you may not be getting paid the best you may not have the best type of equipment that you're working with but you know that pretty much you can get a job so you're in a situation where damn i've been i've been putting in applications thousands of applications i can't find a job i hear that you this is a guaranteed a guaranteed outside of the military but you're too old to go to the military this is a guaranteed uh uh, uh situation let me go ahead and do that and you get into it that way both of those situations you're doing it out of desperation, I would say. You're not. You're doing it out of economic desperation. But the type, the video is basically about because I'm dragging this on. Is outside of those situations, is trucking right for you? And I think that, especially OTR trucking over the road trucking if you are a young male preferably single no children and you don't really have a social life let's say you really don't have a lot of things going on socially maybe a girlfriend or women that you're dealing with or you know you're heavily involved with your family or your community or you got various hobbies that you're you're doing and you're you're volunteering to this and that 
And, you know, if you don't fall into that category, and let's say you stand with your parent or a family member, or even, even if you're renting a room or staying alone, and you're like, man, I'm tired, you know, uh, it seems like you're, you're working a dead end job, and you're like, man, I, I'm ready to do something else. I'm ready to, I'm ready to step up. I'm ready to do something else. And <clears throat> you hear about trucking, and what you hear about trucking is that, oh damn, I could save some money in trucking, and I can live on the road, and I can work. And I don't have to worry about paying my rent and I could save a bunch of ton of money, you know what I'm saying? Because it's just me, I'm kind of introverted. You know, I don't mind being alone. Then you'll get into trucking because you know that in trucking, you're gonna save a lot of money. At the high seat of my new. You know, you get into trucking, you're gonna save a lot of money Right, let's say you, you'll do it for a year, two years. You do that thing for two years, you staying in your truck, in the truck, you're not spending no money. All you're doing is, you know what I'm saying, stacking money. After two years, you're gonna have enough to either, you know, save, you should have enough saved up to do something else, whether you wanna go into a, a trade you know, whatever, you know, trade school or plumbing or whatever you want to do, electrician, carpenter, or you want to do, you, you might say, hey, I want to go to university. Now, as long as you're not going to, to go, you know, university for no BS stuff like underwater, underwater basket weaving, you know what I'm saying? But something that you really need to go to the university for, then you could do that. And you won't have to take God alone because if you did things right and you was with a decent company that paid you decently, after let's say after that two or three years, I was I would say two years, do two years, you will have about sixty thousand to eighty K saved up. You should. But let's say at a minimum sixty K. And with sixty K that pays most tuitions at most universities. You you know, you'll you don't have to go to a, a four year, right? You'll go to, you could if you want to, but the, the cheaper route is, is do your two years at a, at a community college, which is usually going to be free because you're going to be getting grants. You're going to get uh, your, your tuition way probably, you know, because you'll fit into a, you'll be able to show that you fit into a cert, certain income and you'll get two years of, of basically free paid education and then you'll transfer it and, and, and you'll still have your money saved up because you've been using Pell Grant money and all these grants and, and scholarships, and you'll be able to go and finish your two years at the at the university and you won't have to take out a loan. In that instance, trucking is for you. If you, trucking is not for you, and this, trucking is not for you, And but there are guys that do this, and I think that it, it really is really detrimental to them. It's very detrimental because the things that they, you know, experience. But trucking is not for you if you're married and if you have small children. If you're married and you have small children, I think you are sacrificing for money. Uh, a lot of precious moments and precious times that cannot that money can never replace. You can't get time back. You can always get money back, right? You can lose a hundred dollars today, and you can get it tomorrow. But you can't. You lose that day that you lost just, uh, yesterday is gone forever. That day is never coming back. And all those days that you're on the road, away, away, missing important things. You know, not not being able to walk your children home from school, or walk your children to school, or or pick them up, or you know take your wife to dinner and stuff like this and you know what i'm saying she's in the bed and she's lonely and she need you know comfort and you're you're on the road you know a phone is not enough I, I know we got all this technology and we can zoom and we can you know uh 
face time and all this stuff, but it's, it doesn't replace the, the physical. It doesn't replace the physical. And you, you're on that road, you're missing out on these valuable moments, and you might be pay, putting a strain in your relationship. They say two of the two most industries where a wife or spouse is known to step out is in the military and in trucking. And it's it's a, it's a reason why when you're when you're in the military you're deployed you're out you're you're over this in this case you're oftentimes oh thousands hundreds of thousands thousands of miles away overseas in trucking you may just be a thousand miles away but you're away and what happens especially with women in those in those situations is uh, women are emotional they get lonely and next thing you know the plumber the gardener the mailman is keeping your wife company. And I think in those situations, you just should find something else. You know, I know even if, even if you like trucking, if you can't find something local, if you can't find something local, then you shouldn't do it. Local at the most, dedicated or regional. You know, something that may, you may be gone for a few days, but you're back. You know, and but nothing that has you gone for month, you know, three plus weeks at a time. Nah, with only two, one or two days home. Nah, nah, nah. That's that's not. I don't suggest that you do that. You know, other guys, other channels might suggest you do it, but I think they're doing it for views and 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 and, 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 and for money. But I don't suggest that. That's not wise, man. If you value your your children, you value your relationship. Don't do it don't do it because you are going to sacrifice and you you may not it may not be in the first month but that after you know a year or so maybe less than that you're gonna you're gonna see it man you're gonna see it so i would suggest for those guys get into something else you know what i'm saying find something either you can't do local find another career and that's all i gotta say now I'll go, I'll expand another video more into that situation that happens. And I'm going to use a hypothetical situation, but it is a real situation of what happens when a man is away from his woman. With that said, peace.